also a very easy one where she just shoots very small damn Maku and waves. Just kind of go left and right and occasionally a little up just to just weave through the bullets. It's a very easy spell card. There's really no way I can describe how to beat it other than just kind of don't pull this one. And you should be pretty much all set. See? Now then, we have more non-spell. Ugh. I hate more non-spell. Get the non-spell away from Get the non-spell away! I don't know why I can't do her non-spells, I just can't. Don't ask me. Then we have Land Sign. Three sacred treasures. Orb. This one's really easy, if you just know the little trick. You just want to kind of weave through the bullets. As you can see, just weave through the bullets to get up ahead. And again, you can just graze the bubbles, like I did right there, if, you're, if you want some extra graze. Always nice. And I've way exceeded the time the time requirement for this stage. Let's see if we can go even higher. And we have the final her final spell card that's not last spell. Ending sign Phantasmal Emperor. This actually can be annoying and trip you up just because there's laser poles everywhere. Other than that, it's a very easy spell card and you should have no troubles with it. After a couple tries, you should be able to get the hang of it and do it every time. And here comes her last spell. Future God's Realm. This is another very, this is actually a deceptively easy last spell, where she just spawns lasers in it and totally telegraphs where they're going to go and then just fires little red mini Danmaku at you, but it's just, it's just easy. Just, with just a tiny bit of practice, you should be totally fine. And we've got three out of three last spells so far. This is the only one I'll probably end up missing. My apologies. I'm not good at getting this last spell. I'm just not. I just can't do it. It's just because I cannot capture this person's spell cards. But something interesting, you know how it says stage 4? Powerful, there's actually two versions of stage 4. Powerful and uncanny. What's different between these two stages? Not much besides the boss you fight. And actually when I think about it, that's most of this stage is a boss fight. So it's actually pretty important. If you're playing as this current team, the Illusionary Border team, or the Neverworld Dwellers team, you'll be fighting the boss. Those two teams fight the same boss, but if you play as the Aria Forbidden Magic team or the Visionary Scarlet Devil team, you will be fighting another boss. Those two bosses I will get into respectively when we get there. We get there when we get there. Boom. Now then, th for this stage, it's kind of when the game starts, starts to get serious on you and starts actually throwing a lot of bullets left and right. But don't get alarmed, it's actually still pretty easy. They're just throwing bullets to try to intimidate you. As long as you just keep a level head and don't panic, you should be totally fine. And of course, it helps that I have a huge spread and homing bullets, but that's why I love this team. Now then, here's the boss for Stage 4 Powerful, Marissa Kirisame, actually one of the playable characters if you were paying attention. But if you play in Uncanny, you'll be fighting Reimu. The difference is com they are completely different fights and I find Marissa to be much harder. Just because of her bullet shape. She fires a lot of stars everywhere, I don't know why, she's like, apparently she's obsessed with stars or something, I don't know. Astrologist, I guess? But, she just spawns them all over the place. And I just can't do it. Here we go! Her first spell card, Magic Sign, Milky Way. It's not a hard spell card of its own right, I just suck at it. I've done much harder spell cards and captured them, I just can't do it with stars. I don't know... Why? But I actually captured that one, surprising. Now then. Look at all these stars. This is when I start really hating on her non-spells. Because they're just... Jerkish. They're just jerk face, jerk move, Marissa. You're just gonna have to, you just have to pay a lot of attention and find the openings within the bullets and you should be good. Now we have magic signs. Stardust Reverie. This one's actually... A my most hated titan kind of spell card, a gimmick spell card. Get right in the center and roll along with it. Dodge these and roll. You must, else you will die, and then get up here, and you will be going back. Around. To come in and just get back in place. It's a, it's actually a fairly tricky spell card, but once you figure it out, it's not. Two and, oh, I didn't capture it. Dang it. I, I'm, I'm trying as hard as I can to get the last spell here, so I pretty much need to capture 
most of her spell card, all of her spell cards. I, although I do have quite a bit of time from all these fairies. Can you just push me over the 1,500 on your own? Because I don't want to capture any. I don't think I can capture many more of her spell cards. There we go. And this game is being nice and giving you bombs just in case you had to save yourself with your own last spell. And then here we have the second half of the fight with Marissa Kitty Summates. He's cut. Dumb tells me it's gonna be a little bit like the first one. Again, it's not too hard in its own right, I just can't do it for some reason. Something about the way the bullets are shaped and move is just I can't discern their hitbox properly. Oh, I'm so close to the time bonus for this. Yeah, loves now we have Love Sign, non-directional laser, actually a fairly easy spell card. It seems hard at first, but it's not, I promise. Just kind of weave through the big stars, that's the trick. And just don't run into a laser. The trick is to avoid the little stars. Those are what will screw you over. As you can see. Although, I think I actually ended up whacking into a big star there, so my point may be moot. But I'm telling you, the little stars are what you gotta watch out for. Little stars will make your life hell. Oh, we're over the time bonus. Now we have Marissa's most famous attack, actually one of her least effective, the Master Spark. This one actually requires something that we don't, that you don't usually do in boss fights. Unfocusing. And it corners you a lot. I hate spell cards that corner you. That's part of, one of the problems I have with Toho 11 Stage 5, I think it is. No, it's Stage 4, that corners you at every chance it gets. You're going to want to aim the laser, because she will fire at you, and you want to predict that and move. And we have Marissa's final spell card, Light Ray, Light Sign, Earth Light Ray. Oh boy. It's actually, again, not a very hard spell card in its own right, I just can't do it. See? But that should be it. And we got her last spell! Here we go. Magic Cannon, Final Spark. Essentially, a MUCH STRONGER version of the Master Spark. She even turns it around and everything. It's not actually that bad, and also if you fail the last spell, all you lose is the points. Only half an hour will still pass, and I didn't really care because that's actually a really hard one to capture. Here we go! S stage 5, probably my personal favorite stage in the game. I love this stage, I love its theme, I love its motif, I just love this stage. It's a good stage. A pure cage in the filthy world. It's only 1 o'clock. Now then, this one is actually very easy to get the last spell in if you know what you're doing. You have capturing very many, but since the enemies in this stage spawn an ungodly amount of spell, of spell circles, it's very easy to rack up time. I didn't let that one spawn all four. That's that's no good. And again, this this is the game just trying to psych you out by throwing a lot of bullets at you. It's not actually that tough. And see, they just all dissipated. Now then, the mid boss at this stage actually can be kind of tough. So watch out for that. Get over here. You're dead. As you can see, again, these guys are dropping unbelievable amounts of time. And, oh, we've got big bullets here. They're not any more challenging than the little ones, though, so no worries. But sadly, they have less spell cards, spell circles, for some reason. And hello! Now we have Tay Inaba, or Tewi Inaba. I think it's pronounced Tay, and I'm gonna call it Tay because Robin LSL says so. He's God, guys. I don't know. All I know is he's fantastic, and I love him. He's cool. He's, he's awesome. And Tay is actually a fairly annoying mid-boss, but it just takes a little bit of practice. Her patterns are really confusing the first few times. But with a little bit of practice, you see that they all kind of come together at a certain point and make a column that you can just fly through. And she drops one up when you beat her, so that's always good. Now then, don't, don't be afraid to bomb here if you get too overwhelmed. I don't blame you. This, this stage can corner you if you're not careful. So again, no shame in bombing, guys. Unless you're trying to do a perfectionist run, which I don't know why would you even do that. Oh, and we have a 
death, a actual death fairy. Death fairies are essentially really strong fairies. Just kind of, I don't know, that's just kind of what they're called. 